Yeah, right. That is a huge question. You know, it's interesting because I it was so much fun revisiting this movie because I spent the weekend trying to figure out when the last time was that I actually watched it from start to finish. And I don't know that I can recall, mm -hmm. but I remember just watching it again. I was like, oh, my God, everything about this movie is what made me excited as an actor. I mean, how could you every... Every Italian kid growing up in that time period wanted to be Marlon Brando, right? We all put the things in our lips and we talked like this and we did this and we're making an offer. And I can't do it and I won't even try. Uh, but the very first scene, I just, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm speechless because the movie's so good and I literally did just come off of watching it. But it, it, you know, came from a time when uh, that was, I mean, that style of acting was was kind of new i mean maybe not new it was but it was just this real underplayed quiet uh style of acting and real subtle uh i i watched a lot of the uh, i have the dvd box set an old one and so i watched some special features and it was fascinating to watch uh, them sort of in the making a looking behind the scenes if you will and i was uh, uh kind of shocked to see and hear, and I don't want to take anything from your little nuts, but they tried to fire Pacino mm -hmm. halfway through the filming of the movie because the studio didn't like what he was doing. Yeah, and it wasn't right. until the Salazzo scene when he goes into the, into the restaurant and he shoots the two guys in the head where they're like, holy, c this guy's really got some chops, right? And so everything just about that ability to literally be understated and playing the subtext and letting the camera do the work uh, is just inspiring 